This is number seven from derivative and the shape of the graph. And there's no formula given, so we have to go off what the shape looks like. So the first part of this is, uh, it says, uh, use the graph to find the inflection points and concavity. So your inflection points is where it changes from concave down, this is concave down, this is concave down, to concave up, that's concave up. So we're looking for some point where it changes, and to make it easy, we're gonna go with these points here, is what they did. So our concavity is negative, concave up is from here to here. So concave up is gonna be negative two to zero. Then when we look for concave down, we're looking at these regions here. So we're looking at negative infinity up to negative two, union, and then, so that's from, you know, concave down, so it's facing downward. Uh, negative two, it stops, and it picks up again, so it's down, down again at zero, so zero to infinity. There's infinity. And then inflection points. So these inflection points are going to occur. Uh, what did my pencil die? There we go. Here and here. So the inflection points are going to be at negative two, zero, and zero, zero. That's the inflection points, comma. Uh, the last question is into the coordinates for the relative minimum. So obviously it goes down forever here and here, but the relative minimum is here at negative one, negative two. That's correct there. Okay, hope that helps.